Hello, my name is Mark Janard Jr. I'm going to cover the reason why more than a dozen countries experience an internet blackout via a deep subsea internet cable that is so long it connects from Asia to Europe to uh, Africa. After that, I'm going to discuss how a guy by the name of James Zong, who had billions taken from him by the IRS because reportedly he stole 50,000 um, bitcoins. James Zong found a vulnerability in the dark net to do this. So without further ado, we're going dark. Here's the first story, courtesy of The Wired, Matt Burgess. Let's talk about the cable ties. Subsea cables are relatively fragile and easily damaged. Every year, there are more than 100 incidents where the cables are cut or damaged. The majority of these are caused by shipping or environmental damage. However, in recent months, there have been growing concerns about sabotage. Following the Nord Stream gas pipeline explosions, governments around the world have pledged to be better, protect underwater infrastructure and subsea cables. The UK has also claimed Russian submarines have been monitoring cables landing in the country. Despite the dangers, the internet is built on resilience. It isn't easy to take down large parts of the internet. Companies that send data through subsea internet cables don't just use one cable and will have space on multiple cables. If one cable fails, traffic is eventually rerouted through others. In some areas, such as Tonga, where there's only one cable, cuts can have a devastating impact. The need for redundancy is why Google, Facebook, and Microsoft have been spending hundreds of millions of their own subsea internet cables in recent years. So let's really get into the nitty gritty of what's going on. The cable is 15,000 miles long along the sea floor, connecting Hong Kong to Marseille, France. As it snakes through the South China Sea and toward Europe, the cable helps provide internet connections to more than a dozen countries from India to Greece. When the cable was cut in June 7th of this year, millions of people were plunged offline and faced temporary internet blackouts. The cable, also known as AAE-1, was severed where it briefly passes across land through Egypt. One other cable was also damaged in the incident, with the cause of the damage unknown. However, the impact was immediate. It affected about seven countries and a number of over-the-top services, says Rosalind Thomas, the managing director of SAE X International Management, which plans to create a undersea cable connecting uh, uh, Africa, Asia, and the U.S. So this is a, and a technology that they're thinking of bringing to us. Huh. The worst was Ethiopia that lost 90% of its connectivity and Somalia thereafter also 85%. Cloud services belonging to Google, Amazon, and Microsoft were all also disrupted, subsequent analysis revealed. While connectivity was restored in a few hours, the disruption highlights the fragility of the world's 550 plus subsea internet cables, plus the outsized role Egypt and the nearby Red Sea have in the internet's infrastructure. The global network of underwater cables forms a large part of the internet's backbone carrying the majority of data around the world and eventually linking up to the networks that power cells, towers, and Wi-Fi connections. Subsea cables connect New York to London and Australia to Los Angeles. 16 of these submarine cables, which are often no thicker than a hose pipe, are vulnerable to damage from ship anchors and earthquakes. Pass a 1,200 miles from the Red Sea before they hop over land in Egypt and get to the Mediterranean Sea connecting Europe to Asia. The last two decades have seen the route emerge as one of the world's largest internet choke points and arguably the internet's most vulnerable place on earth. The region, which also includes the Suez Canal, is also a global choke point for shipping and the movement of goods. Chaos ensued when the container ship uh, ever given got wedged in the canal in 2021. Where there are choke points, there are single points of failure. Nicole S., an associate professor of media, culture, and communication at New York University, and an author on submarine cables. 
Because it's a site of intense concentration of global movement, that doesn't make it more vulnerable than many places around the world, she also said. The area has also recently gained in, uh, attention from the European Parliament, which in a June report highlighted it as a risk for widespread internet disruption. The most vital bottleneck for the U EU concerns the passage between the Indian Ocean and the Mediterranean, uh, Mediterranean via the Red Sea because the core connectivity to Asia runs via this route, the report says. Flagging extremism and maritime terrorism are risks in the area. Wow. So now we're going to go to the next story, uh, which is the IRS seized another Silk Road hacker's $3.36 billion in Bitcoin cash, courtesy of Andy Green, uh, Greenberg at The Wire. On Monday, the U.S. Department of Justice announced that a Georgia man named James Zong has pled guilty to wire fraud nine years after stealing more than 50,000 Bitcoins from the Silk Road. As part of his plea agreement, Zong has forfeited that massive stash of Bitcoins to the DOJ, a sum that, at the time of the coin seizure in late 2021, would have been the biggest ever Justice Department seizure not only of cryptocurrency, but of currency of any kind. The Bitcoins were ultimately found stored on what's described in court records as a single board computer, hidden in a popcorn can along with more than 600,000 in cash and uh, precious metals, all held in a, in a safe under the floorboards of a bathroom closet in Zong's home. The newly revealed case represents yet another notch in the belt for IRS criminal investigations, or IRSCI, which over the past several years has used very often in partnership with blockchain analysis firm Ch uh, Chain Analysis, cryptocurrency tracing techniques that have led to record-breaking troves of ill-gotten bitcoins and to the alleged hackers and money launderers who amassed them. In fact, Zong is the second Silk Road hacker to turn over a billion dollar cash of coins to the IRS after another unnamed individual agreed the previous year to forfeit nearly 70,000 bitcoins he'd stolen from the drug market a record-breaking even larger collection of coins that was worth one billion at bitcoin's lowest exchange rate at that time both those records were again broken earlier this year by our irs case against two alleged money launderers in new york accused of pocketing 4.5 billion in cryptocurrency stolen from the bit finex exchange Thanks uh, to state-of-the-art cryptocurrency tracing and good old-fashioned old police work, law enforcement located and recovered this impressive cache of crime proceeds, wrote the U.S. attorney Damian Williams, who's a prosecutor for the Southern District of New York. In a statement about the latest indictment and 10-figure seizure, this case shows that we won't stop following the money no matter how expertly hidden, even to a circuit board in the bottom of a popcorn tin. According to an IRS affidavit detailing Zong's theft of the 50,000 plus bitcoins from the Silk Road, he appears to have found a vulnerability. Here it is. Here it is, guys. He appears to have found a vulnerability in the dark web that in 2012 allowed him to somehow pull coins out of the accounts he created there than he had deposit. The affidavit describes how he registered a succession of accounts on the site with names like uh, Deter Mentor and Dubba, deposited a sum of coins into the Bitcoin wallets for each account, and then made repeated withdrawals of the entire sums held there within a single second to multiply his money several times over. This apparently exploited a bug in the Silk Road that allowed this rapid fire withdrawals without first confirming that the requested money still existed in a user's account. In this fashion, Zong, uh, using each of the fraud accounts, moved at least approximately 50,000 Bitcoin all out of Silk Road in just a few days, reads the affidavit, which was signed by the IRS agent Trevor uh, M. So those were the two stories. Please let me know what you think. I want to know your opinion. Please hit the notification bell. Please get the, uh, hit the subscribe button. I love you. You're a hack pack. See you on the next video.